All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. The Houston Rockets, they get to 10 and 20. We're only double neg now after starting off the season 1 and 16 with 15 straight losses. They get their revenge against the Detroit Pistons. The Pistons haven't won in like a month, man. I feel bad for the Pistons, but um, this was a good win. This was a good win. It was at 11 a.m. today. Um, I have a real, like, I've got a love hate relationship with these. I don't know, because I woke up at like 9 o'clock today, and I was like, oh, shoot, the Houston Rockets play basketball in two hours, so I'm all excited, but then I eat around the start of the game, and then by halftime, I'm just, I'm exhausted, so I, I, I'm just laying in my bed, like, sleepy, but I'm watching basketball, so it's like a love-hate, it makes me unproductive, but I'm chilling at the same time i mean it's saturday what else is there to do so the rockets are nine and four since they've lost 15 straight basketball games tonight was really it was really interesting man i really like josh christopher getting the start tonight i already saw some stuff on twitter about possibly running a kpj jalen green and josh christopher starting lineup when the boys return which by the way kpj i believe his return date is december 20 seventh um whatever the game is after christmas kpj apparently is going to play in that game so that's good news but man josh christopher i'm you know i keep making videos about josh christopher because he's so fun to watch but um he also is producing for us he's also given us a lot of value tonight um along with all the other houston rocket starters we had all of our houston's all of our starters tonight were in double digits scoring wise but josh christopher you saw 10 points four rebounds seven assists two or three from downtown and four or six from the field so th this is just so cool man I, I i this is the way we are playing right now i know this was against the detroit pistons who like i said haven't won in a month but to just see a guy like josh christopher get like 12 points or sorry 10 points seven assists four rebounds two or three from downtown he's still shooting over 45 percent from the from downtown this cat he's just so exciting man. like he's just so exciting and you know honestly I, I think we really legitimately have a have a star potential player right here i mean he's definitely got star potential but i think we just gotta find the perfect role for him on this roster and you know who knows it might be the starting small forward you never really know but really christian wood tonight he was a huge reason we won the basketball game also eric gordon i think he forgot we were playing basketball the other day so tonight much better performance from eric gordon but really you know christian wood 9 and 19 from the field 21 points eight rebounds i've decided with christian wood that i I'm just gonna enjoy the ride you know i'm just I'm, I'm gonna enjoy the ride i don't even want to talk about trading or anything like that unless i absolutely have to i want to just enjoy this ride he's putting up almost 17 points per game almost 12 rebounds per game around that 11 and a half and 16 and a half but christian wood um you know he's shooting just horribly this season i i, I really i can't understand it um He's just not shooting good from the field, from downtown, from the free throw line. It has been improving, but it's worrisome. It's a little worrisome where it's like, Christian, I want you to take that next step into all-star. I want you to turn into an all-star. It would be really cool if he made the all-star team this season, but things aren't really looking great right now. 18 points for Eric Gordon, 7-11 from the field, 3-4 from downtown. Garrison Matthews, he's right back with a three-point sh three shot four and nine from downtown tonight people were worried about garrison <sighs> i don't know why they were worried about him shoot or shoot man it really is as simple as that shoot or shoot but tonight garrison what was it three steals did he have tonight i should say this afternoon yeah three steals and a block six to twelve from a field four and nine from downtown for 16 points I think we might have gotten an absolute steal here with that contract. I, I just saw a tweet actually right before I, I made this video, I, right before I clicked record, that he found out about his contract extension on Twitter last night, or on uh, Xbox. He got the Twitter notifications while he was playing Xbox. So that's really interesting. KJ Martin Jr., 10 points, 11 rebounds, 4 of 7 from the field tonight. And as he alluded to after the game, his defense has improved a lot this season. And we're finally starting to see KJ play. 
Um, I, I don't know what it was. I don't know what the reasoning was at the start of the season, but we just really didn't see KJ Martin play. Honestly, we didn't really even see David Nwaba play. And it was causing all of this almost like hatred for David Nwaba, who, by the way, is now the Houston Rockets' second longest uh, player. Or now is he number one? I don't think think no it's Eric Gornoff yeah so he's the second longest tenured Houston Rocket right now but you're starting to see David Nwaba play more 17 points or 16 geez 13 points seven rebounds last night I really like what David Nwaba brings us I love what he can do defensively he's one of the best perimeter defenses in the entire defenders in the entire NBA but offensively he showed me a lot of improvement last season and he never really got an opportunity to go this year and now with all these injuries you're starting to see him play more and more and more and i love it something to note as well tonight was no daniel tice so christian wood back in the starting lineup daniel tice didn't play which is so interesting because he just went like 22 and 11 in the loss to the new york knicks but here's the thing, and I really like what he said after his game, after his dominant performance just the other night, was he said he wants to show the bench players that like just because you're coming off the bench or just because you're not playing on a night-to-night -night consistent basis, that doesn't mean you can pout your head, put your head down, and stop working. So Daniel Tice, really good leader, really good leader by example. And this is one of the things that you... You can't really measure his impact on the Rockets because he does a lot of things like this. That it's just, it's cool, man. It's just really cool. Jay Sean Tate, uh, final Houston Rockets starter tonight. 11 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 steals, 5 of 10 from the field. I really like what I've been seeing from Jay Sean Tate in the last, like, 4 to 6 weeks. He started the season a little iffy. I was a little question, I had a you know, question mark regarding him, but he is really, really coming along together. And I mean, he's on such a nice contract as well. I mean, he was made all rookie last season. Now we're starting to see the, um, in the last four to six weeks, we've really started to see why we were so high on Jay Sean Tate. So I believe that's about it. You know, Elpern Shangun, three of eight from the field, 0 2 from downtown, four rebounds. Five, five rebounds, four assists. Do I need glasses? Oh, my God. Two blocks, nine points. He played okay. He played okay. But Elprin is definitely going through a little bit of a... I don't even really want to call it a cold streak because it's not like he's cold. But he, you know, what is this? Back-to-back -back games now where he just hasn't really hasn't really been his night so that's it for today guys also i do want to say the houston rockets still have a major free throw shooting issue what was it tonight 10 of 17 i don't know what the hell is going on with this free throw shooting but they have a big free throw shooting issue so that's it for today guys if you enjoyed it hit that like button hit that subscribe button trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of the month heading into 2022 we're almost at 900 so thank you guys for all the love you've been showing me and um Honestly, I don't even know when the next Rockets game is. But all I can say is we're nine and thirteen, or we're nine and four in our last thirteen games, and they're what two games out of the playoffs right now. So let's get a look at this. Oh shit! It's the Chicago Bulls on Monday. <laughs> that should be interesting. The Bulls are just decimated right now by COVID, though. So that's it for today. Hit the like button. Hit that sub button. I'll see you guys tomorrow.